Hey everyone, it's another day of, you know, reckoning. Day of the day of reckoning is upon us, <laughs> like Papa John. So you get a Papa John's, uh, <coughs> I had ordered, I had like a Uber coupon, like a double coupon for Papa John's where, uh, I would order one pizza and get one pizza free. And then 40% off of $25 or more. So I ordered like three pizzas from there, right? So it was like 20 bucks. And then after the tip, like 23 after all the discounts. Which is pretty good for three pizzas, right? Medium size, whatever. <clears throat> and I'm here like taking a nap. Listening to something. Like a First Amendment auditor video or something. Like half asleep. Wake up from my nap. I hear that my delivery was uh, delivered, my order, my food. I go out there, there's no food. I check my Uber app. It says it was delivered, and it was delivered to an address that was like three numbers off of my address. And you could see it in the photo, that you could see that address number in the photo was not my address. And it wasn't my my outside, my like doorway, you know. So I call my Uber uh, driver, my Uber, no, my Uber driver, or my Uber food delivery person, and they're like, uh, I'm like, yeah, hey, I think you delivered my food to the wrong person, uh, the photo shows this address, this is my address, and they were like, oh, well, uh, let me call Uber, and they hang up, and so I come inside, I'm here like, uh, I, I message Uber, or I, I get on Uber's app, and tell tell the app, oh hey, I never got my order. It's like, okay, do you want like a cash refund or do you want food or uh, Uber credits? So I just took the Uber credits because I'm like, I'll probably fucking order something from them again. It, it's just easier that way. So I got my money back. I hadn't gotten my food. I looked at the address and realized it was my neighbor's, like next to me, to the right of my house, and. uh so I'm like, oh, I wonder if uh, they, they like went outside and got the food or what. And I, I go over there like barefoot sneaking like fucking uh, solid snake and shit. And the pizza is still there. It's just there on their their front at their front door, you know, just there. And I'm scared. Well, I, I kind of know the neighbors. I, I, I mean, I, I'll see them, but I don't like it's like they know me and I know them, but they we don't know each other. So I was worried. I mean, this is Texas. I don't want to fucking get shot or anything, right? So I, like, sneakily went over there and uh, got the pizza. It was outside. And so I was able to get the pizza, get my money back, and, yeah, so that's cool. And the pizza was only out there for, like, ten minutes. I was like, oh, shit, maybe there's, like, bugs on the bottom pizza or something. But, no, nah, it was it was good. There was uh, It was still warm. There was no bugs in the pizza uh you know according to my fears and um yeah it was pretty cool to get my money back and get some pizza uh for the day and that that you know and that lasted i i, I think it was good it, it fed the family whatever and i have money credit to buy uh i don't know whatever else um and then this morning well i woke up pretty late probably like at noon and i was on the fence about getting the AEW Wembley all-in pay-per-view that they're doing in London. And it was early because of the di time difference. So the pay-per-view was at like noon, I believe. Noon or 1, 1 p.m., something like that. I think it was noon, noon my time. And I was like, do I want to get it? And they had a pre-show, so I watched the pre-show. Uh, watched like the pre-show matches. They were all right. And I was like, nah, I don't want to fucking spend 50, 60 bucks and watch this, you know? I'm like, nah, I'll, I'll just read about it on Twitter, you know, all the... <coughs> ugh, ugh, it tastes like vomit. Um, read about, like, what happened, you know, as it's happening. Because that's typically how, how good Twitter is. Save myself 50, 60 bucks and use that money to fucking, I don't know, buy some OnlyFans subscriptions or buy some fucking... Uh, lottery tickets or something and and yeah you know I, i've just been here fucking chilling watching uh fucking walking dead getting 
you know, I think I'm at like the middle of season six. I'm almost to where they, they get, get with Negan or whatever, which I had never seen past this like at all. Uh, I think the la that last episode I had seen originally was, um, man, not even when they got into Alexandria. It was like before then. It was like after uh, Beth was killed, I think, or something. That's that's where I ended it, I think, or originally, you know. That's where I fell off. Uh, but yeah, now, now I'm watching that, and uh, I don't know. I'm just, <laughs> just here chilling. <laughs> Uh, I know school starts tomorrow, but I mean, I could probably wait till like Wednesday to really check my assignments. So I don't know. We'll see about that. Um, man, what, what else? I was going to say something else. There was something else on my mind. I don't fucking remember. I was watching fucking, I was watching The Walking Dead. There was something else I wanted to watch. I don't fucking remember. I don't know. I don't know. Um, and there's really like no news to to look at. Uh, I see like Simon Biles won her eighth U.S. gymnastics title, and she kind of trips me out because her body's like so small. Like I could see why, like gymnasts would, you know, be targeted by by pedophiles, you know, because they have like smaller bodies and all that, and it's like so fit. And they, they're kind of, like, forced to say that small, you know, like, but then they're, like, pure muscle, you know, like, all muscle. So, it's kind of trippy uh, with that kind of shit going down, you know. And, um, yeah, I've just been here. <laughs> what else? There's really nothing. I, uh, I sold some stuff on eBay, you know, some random stuff. I think I sold, like, a Castlevania storybook. Uh, fucking some hair product that I had there. I uh, sold some more dishes. I sold, um, uh, a skateboard that I had. I need to fucking package that bitch up and go fucking ship it at UPS or whatever. That's gonna be a pain in the butt to ship up. <laughs> it's, it's kind of like, I don't know. I, I think I have a box there that can fit a skateboard. <laughs> It's just going to be an odd item to uh, set up, like, to ship it. And, um, yeah, I've been really wanting to play the Texas Chainsaw Master game, too, that just came out. It's not part two. I've just been wanting to play it also because uh, it's free on Game Pass. And it's by the same people who did the Friday the 13th game. And I've just been, like, unmotivated to do, like, a lot of shit, you know? Even, like, I, I typically do wrestling, like, I talk about wrestling on the YouTube channel, and I haven't even wanted to do that. Like, I don't know. It's, it's like, I, I like doing the podcast, you know, it's it's cool, and then my interviews are cool, you know, but the other stuff, I don't know. I, I've just been, like, super unmotivated with certain things, you know. Uh, I do still uh, have the show with Mint. And then, I, I don't know, I won, like, a, a raffle on Twitter to interview. I, I don't know if I'm going to interview him, if he's going to allow me to record it. But it's, like, a Zoom call. A uh, one-on-one -on -one Zoom call with the guy who directed. I mean, directed. He he wrote. He wrote the most recent Saw. Saw X. And I, I don't know why. I just, like, randomly retweeted his tweet or whatever and got entered into the contest and i won and you could either get a signed poster from him or a 45 minute or hour long zoom call and i'm like oh that's cool i want to fucking like get a zoom call with the guy who wrote look <laughs> checks at notes uh saw 10 i think he also wrote good luck chuck and i'm like Ugh. good luck chuck was a fucking stupid movie i think i, I tried to watch that with my cousin and it was just super awkward because that movie was, like, so sexual. And, you know, we... I mean, yeah, we, we messed around and stuff, you know, me and my cousin. But we never did anything like, you know, penetration or anything. It was just, like, feet feet stuff, you know. But, yeah. No, that 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 was... Uh, that That's pretty cool that I can, like, interview him or whatever. 
And uh, what else was I? Man, I, I had it in my head, too, what the fuck I was going to say about Twitter. I was going to say something about Twitter. I don't know. I do not know. Uh, and then, like, I got some merchandise I need to send out. Like, uh, if, if any of y'all want to buy some of the shirts, like the 3D shirt or um, the Monopoly Man shirt, you know, hit me up uh, on any of my socials at Lorenzo Ariola uh on twitter or instagram you know and yeah i'm just here uh <laughs> going through another day of you know stuff going through another week of stuff and seeing what comes of it you know what i mean like trying to survive and uh i don't know it, it's you just try to <sighs> you try to make every day something you know but it's hard. Most of these days I just want to fucking sleep and not do shit. And hopefully you have the money to take my meds or whatever. And um, hang in there. You know, what can you do? That's all we can do, right, is hang in there. And, uh, yeah, but I don't know. Y'all let me know uh, in the comments or wherever else, you know, what what you've been up to or what you like to do that, like, motivates you, you know uh again i'm i'm just here like i don't know i, I want to play these games i want to do that but i'm just not motivated you know what i mean and um it, it's cool like if it, it like i could understand the depre the idea of being depressed and not wanting to do anything you know it's it's very easy to get into that uh hole of it you know and, and just like letting y'all know i i feel it too you know uh, even though like creatively I'm doing this, it, it, it keeps me like, I, I don't know. It holds me accountable to do something, you know, to have something to quote unquote, uh, know that I'm doing like creatively, you know, uh, and then I have school and, you know, I'm still kind of looking for a job, but I'm kind of not. Hey, I'm just here yawning the fuck out of this shit because I'm always tired, but I don't know. We'll see what we do. Um, Like I said, if y'all could like, share, subscribe, rate, review, all that good stuff. Uh, if you want to buy any merchandise, check out the website RetroHorrorInc.com or just hit me up on my socials at Lorenzo Ariola on Twitter and Instagram. We could see about getting you a shirt. Uh, we have uh, many shirts, different sizes, whatever. Um, and yeah, like we'll, we'll be here tomorrow for another episode, see what we we do throughout the day. And I don't know, we just chill. We'll just talk, just listen, watch a movie. I don't fucking know. Do something, figure something out. Right. That's, that's what we do here is, uh, wait and try again tomorrow. But yeah, thank y'all for listening to, uh, nothing pretty much today. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, take care, be safe, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, oh, check out the Patreon, too. Patreon.com slash Lorenzo Ariola. Help if you want to support. It's $5 a month. Uh, help support the uh, grind, as they say. And thank you. Have a great, have a great uh, week. Okay, see y'all. <laughs>